back to a new video with me. So for today's video, I think this is probably the most requested video I've ever filmed here on this channel. And it is my saddle pad collection. Well, I'm actually starting a tack series. I'm going to try to film all my tack. I'm going to give you guys my brow band collection, my bonnet collection, my boots and polo wrap collection. And of course, I'm starting off the series with my saddle pad collection. So I hope you guys enjoy the series, give it a thumbs up if you do, and let's get into the video. Let's start with the first one. Well, the first one actually isn't a saddle pad, but I get so many questions about the half pad I use. And this half pad is from Matisse. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but it's spelled like this, Matisse, and, or Mats or something. And I love it. This is like the only half pad I've ever owned. <laughs> And I've had it for around three years now, well, like two and a half years. I use it every single day, and it's so good. It's nice um, and padded with sheepskin, and it just looks really nice. And it fits Luna perfectly, and it's just really good quality. Like the fluff is nice and thick, which I really like. So I really, really, really recommend these. Let's go over to the first saddle pad. This saddle pad is actually the first saddle pad I ever bought in my whole life. Like five years ago, I didn't own Luna yet. I didn't even have a horse or lease a horse, but I bought this saddle pad just for the school horses that I used to ride at my old barn. And I just brought these with me like every day and put these on the school horses I used to ride. This is from HV Polo. It's a jumping saddle pad and it's in red. And I used to love the color red, but now I completely hate it. <laughs> Maybe it would look better on base, but it's just not the color for Luna in my opinion. So yeah, I never I've used this like once on her two years ago. But I just yeah, it just sits in my closet now. Let's move on. The next saddle pad. This is I think the second saddle pad I ever bought. This one is my first ever Escadron saddle pad, which I really like, honestly. This is the ice blue cotton pad from Escadron. It's in jumping. And I used to wear this all the time, like two, three years ago, but as you guys can see, the color has a bit faded. It used to be more like a darker ice blue color, but I've used it so much and I've washed it quite a bit, so the color is a bit faded. It brings up a lot of memories of the times when I just got Luna. I used to use this all the time. Saddle pot number three. Uh, this one's one of my favorites. I use this all the time with Luna. This is my Equestrian Stockholm Pink Pearl Saddle Pad. Again, this is a jumping shape. I don't think I want a single dressage saddle pad. I really like this because I think pink looks really good on Luna. She's a gray and it just looks really nice and fancy. And then of course, a question stuck home. Like the quality, the material is just amazing. I really, really recommend a question stuck home saddle pads. I think I have like five of their saddle pads because I'm legit an addict. So really, really recommend these. Next up, we have this eventing saddle pad by Mark Todd. I honestly don't even know why I bought this. I bought this on my vacation in France with Bella and Beau. I'm sure you guys know her. I think we both bought a similar one and I think none of us really use it. Um, it's like, it's okay. I mean, I'm not an eventer. I don't know why I bought this. Like, it's not, it's like a general purpose shape. Like, it's just a weird shape. I don't use it at all. I use it like once in my life, but who knows? I'm moving to uni soon and they have a big cross-country course at the university, so who knows? Maybe I'll use it eventually. <laughs> oh, next up, I have... Oh, I just hit myself in the face. This one's another Escadron saddle pad. This is their cotton burgundy color, I think. Burgundy, yeah. This one I bought last summer, I think. And I just don't like the color on Luna. I don't know. I feel like this color would look nicer on the base. I just don't like burgundy in general on her. I am more like a fan of black and navy and grey, but you know, that's everyone's opinion. So yeah, I it looks really new still because I've used it like once in my life. But I'm trying to sell a bunch of saddle pads and this one's for sale too. <laughs> so yeah, this is this one. Oh no, I forgot to count. I think I already lost track. I think that was my fifth one. Yeah, fifth. Okay, number six. This one is from Wow Store. I got this one sponsored around six months ago. And it's really good quality. As I said, red isn't really my favorite color on horses. Well, on Luna at least. 
so I haven't used it much. I like how it has the like leather patches on here and the logo is really nice. I just, yeah, it's not really my color as I said, but I still really like it. Salve hat number seven. Oh my god, this one brings up a bunch of memories. Once again, I bought this one with Bell and Bow on an equestrian fair we went to like two years ago and we actually met a few fans there, which was really fun. And this one is their Pink Splash, I think that's what it's called, uh, by Escadron. And it's this really cool neon pink and navy blue. I used to use this all the time because Bella actually has the same one in green and we used to be like twinning around the barn <laughs> two, three years ago. But yeah, I haven't used this in a long time because <laughs> if I turn it around, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a bunch of poop on here. We used to have a bunch of barn cats and some of them pooped on here, so it's kind of gross. I haven't even watched it since, and that happened like a year ago or more, two years ago. Yeah, I'm not really a big saddle pad cleaner. All of my saddle pads haven't been cleaned in like a year. And those people that clean their saddle pads like once a month and wash them properly, preps to you. I wish I was like that. I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't have the time for that. Next up, we have this one from Tecna. Oh my god, another memory. I bought this one at the same fair as I bought this one at just a year later. And this one, Bella was with me again and she was telling me, do not buy it. You're never going to use it. Do not buy it. What did I do? I bought it. Have I used it? No, I haven't. I'm also going to try to sell this because it's pretty much brand new. Yeah, um, I used it once, I think. Oh god, I feel so bad. Trust me guys, there will be saddle pads that I actually use. I just start from the bottom of the pile where like my least favorite ones are, but I'm going to work myself up. Next one. Oh my god, this one is one of my favorite saddle pads ever. Bella gave it to me for my birthday last, no, two years ago. It's from Equiline and it's navy blue. Actually, no, it's black. No, it's, it's navy blue. It's like a dark blue. And I love it so much. I've used it for a lot of shows with Luna because I have a matching bonnet for this. And I really, really like it. It's like one of my favorite saddle pads ever. I'm a big fan of Equiline. It's just the quality is great and it just looks really fancy. I love this one. Next one, we have. Oh, this one's also one of my favorites. Okay, now we're coming to the saddle pad that I actually like. This one's from Pal Schockemüller. I bought this one in Germany last summer. Yeah, last summer with Bella. I feel like Bella was there when I bought all these saddle pads. And it's in grey. The material is really, really good. Quality feels great. I've used this so much and it pretty much still looks brand new. Luna looks really good in it because she's a grey. And I honestly think grey looks really good on a grey. So yeah, this is this one. Next up, we have another grey saddle pad. I bought this last summer. Yeah, I really like it. It's grey. It's from Escadron again. And I like how it has the popular Escadron stripe going along here. It's really pretty and I've used this a lot with Luna and I still use it. And this is in the shape VS, so show jumping. Whew, okay. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. I don't want to ramble too much. So moving on. Okay, here we go. These are my Dapple Equestrian saddle pads. Um, the next ones I'm going to show, I got all of these sponsored by Dapple and I love these. I'm not just showing them because I got them sponsored. I actually use these almost every time I ride Luna. They're super pretty. The quality is good. I love how they're navy. Navy is my favorite color on Luna, which you guys are going to see. I have a bunch of navy saddle pads. And yeah, this is what this one looks like. It's just really navy. It's, it has a nice blue and white piping along the saddle pad. And it also has glitter and like sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has the Dapple logo over here. And yeah, it's really nice and pretty. Oh, oh my god, I have so many horse hair on my legs. That just shows that I need to wash my saddle pads. Next up, we have my Goto baby pad. I got this one sponsored from Goto. I like it a lot. It's just a tiny bit small, especially on Luna. She's such a big horse. And so I haven't actually used it yet. I tried it on her and it's just too small. I feel like it would just um, hurt her back a bit. Let's just, I'm going to show you guys. Let's just compare these saddle pads. Like if you can tell, it's a lot like shorter than like my usual saddle pads. 
and it's also a lot thinner so yeah I haven't actually used it yet I just wish it was a little bit bigger next up we have another one from Dapple it's really similar just it doesn't have blue piping it just has white piping and silver piping along the sides really similar to the other one Next up, we have another one from Dapple. This one's in black and it has red piping, which I also really like. Um, the red really stands out from this black saddle pad. So yeah, it has the Dapple logo in red down here on both sides of the saddle pad, which I like. I like it when saddle pads have their logos on both sides, just so you can see it from both sides. That just makes sense to me. Next up, we have another one from Dapple. And once again, a big thank you to Dapple for sponsoring me with these saddle pads. So this one's navy and I don't know how to explain this, but this material is so nice. It's different from the other ones. It's like, how do I explain this? It's like breathable and really like soft and silky almost. And it's navy blue and it has yellow or golden piping, which I also think is really pretty. Oh, my pile is getting smaller. Next up. Okay, this one also brings up a lot of memories. This is my show saddle pad. Um, it's from Animal. I got it like two years ago, no, two and a half years ago, for my first ever show with Luna and just my first ever national show in general. It's white, and as you can see, it has light blue piping. It's from Animal. It's in a jumping shape. And yeah, I use this all the time for shows and all around. Mine and Luna's first show season, I use this like almost every weekend. So yeah, it doesn't, it looks a bit brown. <laughs> it's not really white anymore, but yeah. It makes me a bit sad looking at the sound pad just because me and Luna haven't been able to jump in a year or compete. The last time I competed was May 2018, so over a year ago. But yeah, that's this one. Next up, we have, okay, another one from a question stuck home. This one is, oh my god, I love this one so much. This one is their champagne saddle pad in the jumping shape. It's really pretty. Um, I use this on Luna all the time. I'm not going to show you the inside because it's full of horse hair. But the quality is great. These last so long. I've had these for two years. Use them all the time. And they're just really elegant looking. I like the details they have and how they have the little like crown shaped embedded in here. And it just they're nice and thick. And I like how it has their logo, again, on both sides, down here in the corner. The only thing I don't like about these is that the logo in the corner gets a bit rusty quickly, especially if you wash them, so you need to be careful with that. Like, my logo, I don't know if you guys can tell, you can see on this side, it's a bit, like, rusty, if you can see. But yeah, that's the only thing that you need to be careful with. This one is also one of my favorites. This one is from Equiline again. Bought this one with Bella on our vacation in France two years ago. And I mean, what can you say about Equiline? They're amazing. Equiline is such a great brand. Their stuff is so good, from breeches to show shirts to saddle pads. I love Equiline. I'm a big fan. I've always been. The quality is great, and I love how this logo looks over here. I think this is super pretty. And once again, navy, my favorite color. <laughs> Next up, we have, okay, another Question Stuck Home one. This one's my first ever Question Stuck Home saddle pad. It's an emerald, and this color sold out so quickly. I love this color so much. It's, I like, it's like a different kind of shade of blue. It's again, blue is my favorite color, so yeah. Love it a lot, and it looks good in Luna. I've used this for three years almost now. Like This is my favorite. It's a pad. It looks like this from both sides. It has the straps on, which I like, even though I don't really use them ever. And yeah, it has a logo. And here you can see it better because it's older. It's kind of like blacker on the edges, the logo, because just it gets rusty after a bit. Okay, last saddle pad. Here it is. Okay, once again, another one from A Question Stuck Home. I'm sure you guys get the point. I have an addiction. This one is in a midnight blue. And it's like a really, really dark blue. It's not black. It might look black on the camera, but it's dark blue. It has beautiful white and navy piping around the corners. Once again, their Equestrian Stockholm logo on the edges on both sides. This is my newest one from Equestrian Stockholm. So I bought this nine months ago. 
that's my newest one and yeah I really really like it I use it all the time on Luna because the quality is so good and it's really breathable I don't know if you guys can tell but it's really good material and yeah that was it this is my last saddle pad finally and yeah, once again, I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form with this video. It was just really, really highly requested by you guys. Also, I bought most of these saddle pads with my own money or got them gifted by friends, aka Bella, or I got them sponsored by brands. So now I'm not spoiled or rich. This collection has started growing like five years ago. So these are five years worth of saddle pads. I wish I had counted, but I forgot. I think these are about... Actually, I'm gonna count. Okay, these are 21 saddle pads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next within my little series. Comment down below what you guys want to see first. Either my ear bonnet collection, my brow band collection, my bandages collection, my polo wrap. Oh my god, that's the same thing. My bandages or polo wrap collection, or my... There's more. My bonnet collection? Oh my god, I'm... You guys get the point. Let me know what you guys want to see first and I'll film it for you guys. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so requested. It was really fun to film. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more of me. I love you all so much. Thank you for your love and support. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!